We gather now for a reading from the Gospel of Crazy Cat by George Harriman, with your hosts, cartoonists Merrick Bennett and the Reverend Kurt Schaefert, conversing in it the 100-year-old comical artwork of George Harriman. Oh, Merrick. Good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. May 6, 2020, and May 6, 1920. We have Crazy Cat here with Ignat for us to dive into and see what is what. What is what, Merrick? We're going back Um, in the time machine. So, first panel, Crazy and Ignatz have clearly found something. Look, Ignatz, look upon this sweet little innocent egg. Ah, an egg, and so it is indeed. It will someday blossom forth into a lovely fowl of some kind, without a doubt. I love the oxymoron of lovely fowl. (laughs) Yeah. Why, doggone it, it's a China egg. Oh, an oriental egg. Probably it will hitch into a Pekin duck. Ah. And Ignatz has nothing to say to that except to pick up the egg <laughs> and zip it at Crazy, at which point Crazy sees the ducks. So here we have, I mean, first reaction, Harriman seems to be on the surface just going for a cheap laugh at the expense of an ethnic group. Uh, yeah, I didn't react that way. You know, I went to, it's a China egg, so hatch into a Pekin duck. I mean, it's just like, I thought I thought it was going to be a joke about peeking in. I just am confused by it and like, it's a Cohen. Yesterday was National Cartoonist Day. So declared because it was the first strip of the yellow kid. The yellow yeah, kid but, gave the name of yellow journalism to yellow journalism. It, yeah, it's amazing, huh? So I want to pick up on another part of doing a fast reading. We look at the scenery. I am also seeing the foreground or the basement strip, so to speak. So once again, this is where Crazy and Ignatz came. They came out of the basement from Harriman's earlier strip and then took the, took the headline. Again, we can we can uh, cover up the top half of this strip, and what we get is mystery road, uh, mushroom stools, two mushroom stools, and the middle one tilted on the side, right? And then the wall, and it's an open wall, right? We can get around it, and uh, it leads straight to the shaded part of the crib. Ah, yes. Uh, the foreground ends there. It's an empty tomb. Hmm. The good news is that the crib is empty. You're also making me think, I mean, what is the symbol of China? Uh, I don't know what. A wall! A wall! <laughs> it's, it's a wall! Yeah. Right? This is the beauty of reading it together. I had never, ever would have, like, spent time on the foreground. We have this empty crib and we have this shading, and we have the corners leading the eye to, straight to the egg. Mm. Um, And then from the egg up to, right to the place of impact. So here's my my hypothesis. Just like Ignatz and Crazy took over the strip from the basement, Mm. perhaps the real life to this is in the basement, is in the foreground. Ignatz and Crazy are just the backdrop. They think they're the story. They think they're the story, but the story is what's literally crossing this wall. Yeah. Coming out of this cradle and coming up into the, suddenly coming up over the land into the sky and bursting into all these little vaudevillian racial stereotype ducks with ponytails. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'm excited and amazed to see that, but (laughs) I I don't know if I feel any better about this strip. (laughs) What, what I feel, you know, understanding that this, these are racist stereotypes of ducks with slanted eyes and ponytails, is, is I feel the pain of impact. Mm. You know, here's this, here's this ball figure, you know, it's going to come in and join these two that are aligned, that are right together. The egg goes into flight and is impact. There is no Ignax. We're left with crazy and the impact. Oh, yeah. Wow. You were making me realize, I mean, if anybody 
knows about racism and racial stereotyping, George Harriman's biography. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And multilingual background and his his whole life story speaks to that. Uh, yeah. And his use of the black cat and the white mouse. Yeah. To come over the horizon on the same side, to stand behind this wall on the same side. That's a that's a comment on on national identity. Mm -hmm. And in the last panel, where's that white mouse? He seems yeah. to have left the panel and tossed the Chinese egg against the black cat and X'd his eyes out with it and left them to work it out. On which side of the wall? It's not clear. <laughs> Thinking about our reflection last week of interpretation, I, I took it of like, oh, Ignatz is a reliable reporter. Yeah. Again, think about yellow journalism. Is It's making us critical readers. Don't believe what's on the page. People mm. are writing this. This isn't reality. This is people's mm. interpretation of reality. And Ignatz, Ignatz is up to something. Hmm. Oh, so, I don't gun it. It's a, he's making it up. It's a China egg. Oh, yeah. That's what, oh, crazy. It's a China, look at, it's China egg. But it's uh, just you know. a rock. You're right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a rock that he can use to whack him on the head and make him see right. what he's prepped to see. Right. I just took it at face value with the two of them together. And he yeah. says, an egg. And so it is indeed. Hmm. Ig Ignatz is doing uh, improvisation, yes, and. and then... Yes, and. It's a China egg. Yes, and. That really fits with the October 17th strip where Ignatz is stoking nationalist paranoia yeah. in when he sees a new immigrant coming into coco nino county he follows him from place to place spies on him and he yeah. enlists crazy to help him with it it's not an egg that's why the cradle right. is empty it's not an egg and then it looks like crazy goes with it crazy goes yes and and then <laughs> creates creates anticipation probably all hatch into a beacon duck Oh, that's why Ignatz is so perturbed by that, because he's like, I just fed you a line you're supposed to take as a racist nationalist stereotype against this immigrant egg that we found here. Yeah, uh, it's not a, a Chinese American egg. It's a China egg. <laughs> right. Gosh, and I thought it was just a simple little daily strip tossed off and <laughs> run in the paper for one day. Hits you in the back of the head. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of the cartoon. It's painful for a moment, but you're back right back at it like Sisyphus pushing that boulder up, you know. Crazy's going to be back at it, and that just brings me hope. Right, because Ignatz is going to be back at it, too. <laughs> but but so. Ignatz never wins. Like, this is, the, this is the beauty that Ignatz never wins. Never wins by getting crazy to hate by getting crazy to right. think right. the worst of something. Yeah. 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 Well, that is optimistic then, yeah. Yeah. You get the cheap laugh, you know? You get the comedy thing. But in the long run, like, you know, who do you want to be like? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Reverend Kurt. It's, it's always a pleasure to talk about these with you. Oh, thank you, America. The conversation has opened my eyes. The space between has been opened. Probably it will hatch. Probably it will hatch. Probably it will hatch. A lovely fowl of some kind. And so it is. And so it is indeed. <laughs> <laughs>